Okay, sorry about that. I had to stop the video short. But. <clears throat> okay, and just. Ooh. Sorry about my finger there. I'm recording on my iPod and I'm used to my camera where I don't have to hold it like this, but then the camera is right there, so. Sorry about that. Anyways tell you the stuff that I got. I only got four things. And oh my god, the total. Holy crap. For four things. And they weren't even like expensive because I just got these basic little um, four things. As you can see, waterer, eight bucks. Um, uh, a dish, seven or three bucks. Crinkle tunnel, seven bucks. And the super pet igloo, which is that. Seven forty nine, and of course taxes two dollars. But total was twenty eight forty six. Tax two dollars. Total was thirty dollars and forty six cents. Like, oh my god. Oh. It's not difficult. And plus a minimum wage job for my age is seven forty nine at the most. For thing, but anyways, um. Start out with this. I already took the paper off, but um, it's just a small little purple um, food dish. It's really deep. Um, yeah. Um, cause I'm it's a purple and black um theme, so I have a purple igloo with the different shades of purple, but I don't really care. I also got a carry in purple, but um, I'll get to that later. So a little food dish, and this is gonna be their kitchen area. So their hay will be here, and their food will be like right there. Cause I'm gonna have chloroplast once I find the um chloroplast. And this isn't gonna be the final cage. I'm just put it in there and make it look prettier than just plywood. <clears throat> the second thing, this flat back water bottle. Um, it's by Super Pet. It's for guinea pigs. A dwarf rabbit, rats, and chinchillas, or other small animals. 16 ounces. Um, and then the floating duck, like the friendly reefer reminder, if you can see it, it fell over, but that yellow thing. Um, uh, premium quality, yeah, it leaks sometimes. But, um, oh, you will kind of see my hand there for a minute. Snap lock bracket, um, spring loaded. Dripless zipper, that's a lie. Well, it's spring loaded, but it drips when you first fill it up all the way and then put it upside down and then put it back in the cage. You have to have it like your finger on it or a bowl that I had underneath to make sure it didn't drip anymore. It just drips the few. It, drip, blah, blah, blah. it drips for a couple minutes when you first like all the way fill it up. Because I don't know. But other than that, it's a really good water bottle. This is like the large one. The other large one was like 10 bucks and it literally was humongous. Like it came out of the air. Um, cause I want to be getting two mini pigs and what I originally want to do is get two like medium water bottles. But so I just got this big large one. So I think that'd be good if I have a problem I'll just go off and buy another one as a backup. It wouldn't be that expensive. So here's a flat back water bottle. Um, in the bowl. Mm. Just hit myself with that. Next thing is the crinkle tunnel. It's green, not yellow. And the camera it looks yellow a little bit. But um, it's originally for ferrets. But you can pretty much use anything for ferrets for guinea pigs. It's a hanging tunnel. Um, a crinkle one. Tunnel of double fleecy fun. Um. Hangs inside any wire cage like I did below the feet, which that's the only place it would hang. Um, oh, it's very durable. Um, nylon straps and clips, which it is. A combination of poly lambs, wool acrylic fleece, and crinkle plastic. So, plastic. You hear that? I figured they might sleep in that or that. <clears throat> All the colors that came in red, blue, purple, and green. 
Um, they only had red and blue and the green. Um, so I guess they were all out of the purple. But, whatever. Uh, the wash and care, hand wash, and tumble dry on no heat. I'll just let it air dry. Or, I don't know, I'm wash it like that. Um, the cones worn and damaged, blah, blah, blah. Just continue to use and replace it when you wear sleep. So, basically, if it gets icky, they want you to buy another one. This one's for rabbit, ferret, guinea pigs, and chinchillas. It mostly was for ferrets, but... Fuzzy on the inside, polar on the outside, and crinkles through and through. Yep. A fleecy run in a crackly fun all rolled into one. Wonderful. So, that's that. Sorry this is kind of a short video, but whatever. Next thing, last, is this humongous purple, yeah, sparkly purple pig glue. Pig glue, pig glue, Heidi House, whatever. Um, it's the extra, extra large, if you see that, and the side, and do this. Um, it's really big. Keep that in the corner. Um, that's that. Yep. So that's it for what I bought. Small cages okay, kind of bare now, but I was gonna get another tunnel from a snack shack, but I didn't really have enough money because I would have gone over my thirty bucks and yeah, because it was a two bowl like alfalfa hay and honey, um, big um log to keep the teeth down because that's what I want something to keep the teeth, the teeth down because um, I don't buy the artificial um, chewing blocks and like those uh, hidey houses slash like bridge or tunnel that I can climb up over the multicolored. I don't get those because um, obviously to make those colors they have to have some artificial coloring and I don't believe that that's like natural for them. For humans, well, yeah, it's natural because we eat a bunch of crab. But for guinea pigs, I'm getting all natural like colors for anything. Same with the food and hay. So yeah, this is oh, and all the stuff I got this from Pet Supermarket. They have a lot of stuff. All the stuff I need actually. It's cheaper than other places. So, ooh, this video is eight minutes. I'm gonna stop this before it gets long. I just ramble on. So that's all the stuff I got. Stay tuned for another video on when I set up my cage and the chloroplast and blah blah blah. So um, yeah.